These are the components of the foil mastic duct sealing system that we offer a 10 year warranty. Of course, you're gonna have to have the duct work. That's gonna be a four bolt flange or it could be a slip and drive. We're gonna have the mastic. It could either be the Iron Grip 601, the Versa Grip 181, or the spray seal. As of course you know, this goes on with a spray. This is bucket and brush. After this material has dried, anywhere from 24 to 48 hours, we're gonna overlay it with the foil rolled sealant. And this is the 701. The 701 is 30 mils thick, two mils of foil, 28 mils of butyl mastic. That's gonna be applied onto the mastic that is dried. They guarantee a good bond of the rolled sealant to the system, we're gonna use a squeegee. Basically the squeegee gets out any kind of creases or splices or air channels in the foil making it for a very airtight system. What we're trying to do here is get a nice even consistency because you want a nice even consistency for uniform drying. We're gonna to try to put it down between 20 and 30 mils. Ideally, you want to get it closer to 30 mils. I have a chip brush and I'm gonna be applying the mask in nice, easy strokes. A critical point to get on a four bolt flange is this corner intersect and of course along this joint as well. Even though there's a uh, butyl gasket in this joint, it's still subject to leaking because sometimes these bolts get tightened too, too hard here and not tight enough down here. So you do get some kind of racking on a four bolt flange. As you can see, the consistency is nice and smooth. If it was a reinforced mastic, you'd see a little bit of a texture on the surface. Now what I'm gonna do now is um, Hardcast supplies these uh, thickness gauges and I'm gonna stamp it. If you look here, I get a, a, a scale for anywhere from 14 to 30, and I'm actually gonna just punch this thing and see exactly where I'm at. If you look and see where the uh, mastic is hitting, I'm hitting around 24 mils thick. Once it dries, the mastic is very elastomeric. When this ductwork expands and contracts, this material is gonna be expanding and contracting with it. And of course, ductwork as soon as that fan goes on, it's going to expand and contract. I'm going over the cleat. I'm getting in this critical joint right here. I'm gonna work this mastic. I'm gonna get the bottom joint and just work my way up. We've got two cleats on this, and this happens to be a, a Nexus four bolt flange. There's one thing about air, it's different than water. Water is affected by gravity, but with air, it's 360. So that when this thing gets pressurized, you know, you can get a leak up here or a leak down here. It's one big balloon. So what we're trying to do is make this duct work into one seamless balloon. The metal does a good job. The um, mastic is just the icing on the cake. Now a skilled um, contractor will do, a better, will do a better job and make it a lot smoother with his hands. The ideal way is basically is to spray it. When you, when you spray the, the joint, you're putting down 1500 PSI of pressure from, from seven o'clock in the morning to three o'clock in the afternoon. As you can see, the strength of, of my pressure on this joint is really in my biceps and my forearm. But when you spray it, you got the, the uh, spray rig doing a nice even coverage. Basically that's one side. And I'm going to complete the procedure for the next three sides. Then this joint is going to be airtight. It's going to be airtight for the life of the ductwork. We're going to allow this mastic to dry for at least 24 to 48 hours, depending upon temperature, humidity, and airflow. After the mastic has dried, the second part is going to overlay this with the 701. This is four inch wide, aluminum foil grip 701. And what this material is, it's two mils of foil, and it's got 28 mils of butyl mastic. You're gonna to have to peel off this release paper, and this is the sticky butyl mastic. So what I'm gonna show you is detailing this four bolt flange. As I said earlier, this particular flange was sprayed with the uh, spray seal. It has been allowed to dry, and with the spray seal, it dries very quickly, a lot more quicker than it would with a bucket and a brush. I'm gonna tear off corners the first thing would be to do is to do the uh, detail of the four corners. For this illustration, I'm just gonna go with these two right here. 
I'm going to cut off, tear off a piece, basically four inches by four inch, peel off the release film. I'm going to center it over this outside corner. I want to maximize my adhesion because we all know corners have a tendency to leak. And I'm going to basically do a uh, pig ear. I'm going to fold this end down, working the fingers in around that, that uh, bolt. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Get a nice seal. I'm going to fold this piece in. And that's the first part. I'm going to do it to this other corner to show you again. It's a four inch by four inch square. Peel off the release film. You get down, I'm going to center it over this outside corner of this four bolt flange, wrap it around. Using my thumb, get good adhesion onto the outside of that four bolt flange. I'm going to fold this piece in and sort of do a pig ear. Pig ear is just nothing more than a bed sheet fold. I'm going to do the same thing over here. And I want to work it in. And you want to try to, you want to eliminate any kind of gaps or grooves. That takes care of that outside corner. The next layer is going to go the length of the duct of this joint here, and I'm going to splice on at least a half inch onto this four corners. Do the same thing. This is very sticky material, so you've got to be very agile when you work with this material. We put a 10-year warranty on this system. It's for exterior or interior applications. What's the nice feature about this, it's a belt and suspenders. You've got the mastic, and you also have the foil. As you look around these corners, the mastic does a great job filling in these gaps and on these critical areas. So you have a seal with the mastic. With the foil, it gives you the double seal. It not only seals the ductwork, but it also gives you UV and chemical protection. I'm going to try to center this over the joint. Another important tool is called a squeegee. Use a squeegee to make sure you get all the wrinkles out of the material. You get a nice tight seal. There's that cleat. This is a nexus flange, so we're going to have a couple cleats here. I'm going to work that around the cleat and come down to the edge there. Then all I'm going to do is work this foil, 701, into the angle change. I'm using the squeegee now to maximize my adhesion onto the, uh, onto the mastic. The nice thing about this is you're not going to have any air escaping. The other important parameter is going to be you're not going to have any kind of water getting into the duct system either. I'm going to work the other side. A skilled contractor who's good with his hands would probably already have this done. Another nice feature about the 701 being 30 mils thick, you're able to go over type of screw hole. This typical screw, if it was a thin mill product like a 17 mil or anything less, this could actually cause damage and, and puncture the foil. Being that it's 30 mils, we're going to completely envelop the screw head. Do my squeegee to get tight in the angle change.
The next material, what I'm going to do is we're going to butt against that joint and get a nice tight seal. And I'm going to wrap it around, get wrap it around a minimum one half of an inch. I'm going to center it. I'm going to butt it against that edge as close as possible. And sometimes, depending upon the dexterity of the contractor, you can actually get it to, to uh, make a little bit of an angle change turn. As you can see, I've got a minimum of a half of an inch here. I'm going to use the squeegee, and I'm going to work it back. toward the, the splice edge. There's my step off with the cleat. I get to compensate for that edge. You want it as tight as possible. I wrap around on the bottom, minimum half of an inch. Get a nice tight seal. I'm going to box out the other side basically the same manner, which I did that side, minimum half inch, overlap on the other side. Hard cast will put a 10 year warranty on this, and I guarantee you on some projects it's going to last longer than the duct work. I'm going to butt against that edge as close as possible. Use the squeegee. On this, I'm going to have to actually use my thumb to get it to mate with the piece that came down vertically. And basically, that's the system.